Okay, so welcome to the Equity Combo Tool Utility presentation. So again, welcome everyone, and thank you for purchasing the Equity Combo Tool Utility and this mini training course. So I'm just going to pre-frame this presentation so that we're all on the same page about why this is such a cool and useful tool that Matt is going to talk about next. I'm going to talk for a minute about why diversification of trading and investing systems is so important to better the odds of your success. I'm going to do this by talking about something that I personally experienced in my own trading journey. Uh, so this is why when Matt told me about this cool new tool he developed, I was so excited about it that I asked him to offer it through amybrokercourses.com. So let's dive in. So I want to quickly share my own experience in this area. Here's a strategy that I was evaluating before I decided to actually start trading it with real money. And this is what the equity curve looked like at, at that decision point around September the 25th, 2017. So this is when I decided to go live with the strategy right around this area here. Um, the equity curve was doing what it was supposed to. It was going up from the lower left to the upper right corner. And okay, it did have a bit of a challenging chop period just before and after 2015, but 2015 was a challenging year for many strategies. So not every year is gonna be a barn, barn burner. So when I decided to start trading this strategy, it was hitting new equity highs and moved out of that challenging period in this area here. So that was a good sign. Now, here's what the chart looks like today, right in this area. You can see that there was a period of good performance after I got in, right around this area here, uh, where the white arrow is showing the up move. So the system was hitting new equity highs and continued to do well for about a year. Then it peaked out. And it had a fairly quick and steep drawdown that brought it back down to about break even from where I got in. So can you guess what my emotional state was at this time? Can anybody guess? Um, so first off, as, as you can see uh, from the equity curve, it was probably the quickest decline in the history of the strategy. And that definitely freaked me out a bit. Uh, and it was frustrating because I had enjoyed a steady climb all year, only to see my gains vanish in a short period of several weeks. So can you guess what I did next? So you probably guessed that I bailed. And if you guessed that, you'd absolutely be right. So I preserved a small amount of my gains and then I turned off the system. I was able to deal with the day-to-day -day emotional ups and downs of the system because it was fully automated. So I didn't worry about some down days along the way because it also had some very um, good up days as well. But when I started to experience that drawdown, and see most of my gains vanish, my emotions kicked in and it got the best of me. It was very similar to the emotions I felt when I only traded one or two positions or one or two stocks in a day and I did poorly on any given day. So I, you know, I hung my hat on the results of that one or two trading decisions. And as you can see, it was challenging, but if I had just hung in there, my strategy would have recovered and it's starting to move higher again in this area. So it's probably just a blip in the long-term chart. So here's what it looks like close up, assuming $100,000 uh, starting equity. So there's a good chance if, that if I come back to this strategy in a year or two, I would have wished that I stayed with it because the equity curve will probably hit new highs. So granted, it's not the smoothest equity curve, but the strategy is built on sound and robust principles and that is why the performance has been positive over the last 20 years overall. So can anybody guess what the lesson I learned from this experience was? So the lessons I learned from this experience were, uh, there's always a better performing strategy out there. Your strategy will outperform other strategies some years, and some years other strategies will outperform yours. It doesn't really matter. You just have to find a strategy that you're comfortable with and know it can perform over the long term and stick with it. You have to be in the market to experience the good times when they come. Don't chase the holy grail, it just doesn't exist. But there are ways to smooth things out. You can't hang your hat on just one strategy. All strategies go through periods of outperformance, drawdown, and poor performance, but it doesn't mean that they stop working entirely. They just go through cycles, no different than the underlying markets, that they're trading against. 
So just like when I was trading just one or two stocks and felt the emotions and feeling like a loser when those trades didn't work, I realized that it was important to trade multiple positions in a portfolio. And then finally also realized that it was just important to trade multiple systematic strategies. This is a big lesson that I learned and hopefully one of the big problems that this tool will also solve for you today. By trading multiple systematic strategies, you're able to benefit from strategies that perform better when others might be lagging behind. This keeps you more emotionally balanced and it diversifies your risk and your opportunities across different markets and different market conditions so that your equity curves are smoother and less volatile overall. So in order to smooth things out, it's better to run a few different systematic strategies. Here are two equity, here are two different systems rather, and their individual equity curves as well as their combined equity curve. So we can see that the combined equity curve gives us some benefits of both the systems and the combined results are smoother. So if you look at equity curve number one, it's a little bit more volatile. Um, uh, system number two is a little bit smoother and you can see the combined equity curve of the two systems. Uh, there are a little, you see the, that you can get the benefits of both. You get better returns and overall less volatility. So uh, system diversification smooths out and balances out the emotional and financial impact of inevitable drawdowns. It's, it also spreads risk better through different system opportunities while offering more potential pieces of the market pie. More opportunities are better than less opportunities as long as they're the right opportunities. And a smoother overall equity curve means less volatility of returns, which makes staying the course so much easier. The best way to accomplish all this, of course, it's with the right tool. And this is why we're here today.